This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So within this interview with Sky Sports, Anthony Joshua, as I said, it's like an hour long and be in the description box for those of you who haven't seen it. Now, there's a couple of points in there that I found quite intriguing. And I'm glad that Anthony Joshua brought them up. And of course, I'm glad that Adam Walhouse asked a question to initiate um, some of the uh, responses that he gave. And one of them, which was that for the first time, Joshua actually said what me and many of you guys have been saying, which is he's always having to concede. Because Eddie Hearn said to Anthony Joshua quite some time ago, when you're champion and you, if you do this, that and the other, you will then be king of the castle. You dictate the terms, okay? People will come to you and you can get the fights that you want, blah, 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 blah. But it hasn't worked out that way in reality because there's people out there who just don't want to fight him, such as Wilder, who just want to keep on doing everything that they can to avoid him. Wilder even turned down $100 million. They offered Luis Ortiz $7 million and he said no. And yet, where's his fight with Wilder? Where is it? It's been two and a half months now and still no date and venue. What is going on? Something's going on. But the point is, is that what he thought would happen isn't happening. He's not getting his own way. He's got the likes of Wilder and that making other fights. He announced Luis Ortiz and then he announced Tyson Fury straight after. So in other words, freezing Joshua out. And whenever negotiations start to become undisputed, you get the likes of Wilder saying, well, I want 50-50 or no fight. I want this, I want that. On the A side, I've got the WBC title. The WBC title is far more value than any other title that you have combined, etc., etc. So it's always a hurdle and Joshua is always having to concede. Because when you look at it, with, uh, say for example, Luis Ortiz, okay, he's going to fight Wilder. Is he going to get the 7 million that he was offered against AJ? So in reality, my point is, and AJ's point is, why is it that he's having to give up so much money to people when they wouldn't get that money anywhere else? So if he's going to make 500,000 to a million to fight Wilder, as in Lewis Ortiz, then why would he get 7 million to fight Joshua? So Joshua is always having to overpay people just to get him in the ring. But people don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. Even Tyson Fury said, I want 50-50. Now, had these guys probably negotiated, who knows? Would he, would he really take 50-50? Would Joshua give him 50-50? We don't know. We know that uh, um, he was offered 40%. But again, would Tyson Fury, would Wilder, would Ortiz, would any fighter in the planet make more money fighting somebody else than what they would Anthony Joshua? And the point is that Joshua is always having to give out. Not that AJ needs to complain too much because it's not like he's losing out on a lot of money in himself. He's already got loads of money. You know, he can drive his kids past McDonald's anytime. And if they're saying, Daddy, Daddy, give me a, um, a Happy Meal, he can't say, sorry, I haven't got any money. Okay, he can well afford it, all right? So it's not like he's really losing, but the point is, is that he's having to pay, oh, overpay fighters just to step in the ring with him which is, I can certainly see his point. And Eddie Hearn was wrong, for sure. Joshua's vision was wrong as well, that if you get to a certain point, fighters are going to want, are, are going to, want to risk it to try and take what you have. But Joshua is having to give so much just to give them the opportunity to take what he has. For example, like Floyd Mayweather, when he took on Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya was the man. Floyd Mayweather got a very, very small amount in comparison because he knew by taking this small amount, I will become the man by beating him. And that's pretty much what Anthony Joshua was expecting. He thought that people would just go, what, a fight for all the belts? No problem, sign away. And if I beat him, I then become the man. But very few want to do it unless there's a significant, significant pay rise compared to what they would all already get. So anyway, little food for thought. I think it's absolutely correct. Me and you guys have been saying it for a long time. Why is it that the likes of Wilder is demanding or turning down $100 million? Where's he going to get that money from? Why is Luis Ortiz turning down $7 million? Where's he going to ever get $7 million from? And so on. So anyway, that's what's going on. I'm glad that Anthony Joshua did actually talk about this. So anyway, you drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.